out. So shout out to the Pinnacle intern. Uh, you're doing good work. You're doing good work there. Listen, I just I find it all to be fun. It's great. I love it. Um, and again, we don't know what the punishment is yet, and there's still some couple of days left before we get there. So you know, I remain hopeful. I'm optimistic yeah. in life in general. I don't think it's all that bad, really. No. I'm not even sure we're living in the real world, Samla. So who, can, who really <laughs> cares? We've been wondering for years, yeah. Anders. Gen G and OG. It's a best of three. It's the second map coming up here at Flashpoint Two, and it's going to be OG starting on the T side with Gen G on the T side and. They just got, uh, well, they just got completely slapped it in there on that train map. So we shall see. I'm ready to give OG a second chance, but I think that's also it. If this doesn't work, no more second chances, and, and I'll, I'll be way more critical. Bentet hiding inside of the smoke, and he's got the right idea. He's got Cooster in here. Oh, such a cool idea for Genji. It doesn't quite work out when they already lose one, and yeah, that's the problem is you almost need to cancel it, but I actually, I actually think that's a very, very interesting plan there for Genji. What a shame that Bentet is. It looked so good for Bentet there. But the watch was on from OG. They were aware of it. And yet, and yet, Anders, this is looking like a B split. Where are the remaining three players for Gen G? All in B. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh buddy. If this happens, OG have no way. It's a f this is a fantastic call. I mean, you know, obviously, if they're all going A, we'll say, oh, no, they're not watching A or whatever. But that's just how we are. They're expecting um, there to be a rotation towards A from Gen G because of the guys that are dead. And now they're just going to walk right into the trap. This is the gamble here. Exist in the corner. Oh, he's going to get one good headshot. Keeps going. He's got a couple of more bullets. Oh, no. Now he has to reload. It's still a two on two. He does get the reload in, but he's still going to be going down. And now it's Kriyas. Can he do it again? He will stand up for the headshot and take down NBK. That is a huge win for Gen G and a great call. <laughs> I'm beside myself, dude. I can't, I can't handle this. Listen, it's, this it's is amazing. too much. Yeah. And, uh, you know. OG it must be feeling out cold in that moment, right? They must be feeling you like, wow. You just got wowed so hard? Yeah. I, I, yes, okay, there were the three there. I mean, it was the best case scenario for Gen G. That was the gamble, but that's Alexi B getting too deep in his head where he's like, okay, wait, we got to kill, you know, we got two two kills mid. They're going to have to rotate somebody over to A, right, to cover that ground. And so the B side should only have one guy there. And, you know, yeah, I mean, you're just going that deep into it, and it, it, it just happened that Gen G called the B stack. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, the the math makes perfect sense sure. right? from from Alexi V's point of view. It's like, yeah, of course, like you know, chances that they have all three at B are, are really low. And I mean, it's just, and then you know, it's the one v one clutch, and it works perfectly for Kreese. So I mean, oh, they screw the run boost. Here we go. But it's Glocks. Yep. They're just going to come running out. Automatic. Not that many bullets for uh, this entire fight here. Kooster also a little bit uncomfortable with the UMP, although a good lineup there. That actually slows it down, and that means no bomb plant. Well played on Kush. That's a quad kill. I thought they were going to get him and a bomb plant and maybe even a rifle. That would have been weird. Indeed. That that flash was impeccably timed to keep him alive. Or rather, to uh, yes. to keep him from saving uh, automatic there on the site. So, could not have gone better. It is going to be, uh, yeah, Kusta with the triple spray, as you can see. He manages to get that last uh, USP kill in. So that means that there's an AWP in play already for automatic. He'll be happy about that on Dust2. In general, that's a good thing for oppers. Still is kind of a, an opping. Oh, what is this for mid right now for Gen G? They were desperate to play off of automatic, looking to really capitalize on this. Instead, it's going to be a one for one trade. And now the crossfire established and held here. Are they stuck? They're stuck. How do you get out of here if you're automatic? You have to fight your way out. Yeah, I mean, they do have a smoke. They could probably pop that down and try and, and try and escape if they really want to. They're also checking upper dock and finding no one, and they have to be pretty quick about what they do next because it's cool to have that information, but you still then need to start to get some people over to this A side before uh, Kuster's going to find himself in a lot of trouble over here. And I mean, he, all he can really do, Kuster, is just call it out and say, all right, they're coming. He's actually going to move closer, which I think is a, is a really dangerous move. He's on half health. He's got that M4A1. So far, so good. But again, any kind of spam, if it connects here, it's, it's going to put him down immediately, and then they probably lose the round. So... Four on four, still 50-some seconds. Yeah, there's the spam I was worried about. He's going to throw out a flashbang and just try and play a little bit safer. They do have only one Molotov left here on the OG side, so let's just see automatic. Missing a bit of an opportunity now. The rest of the backup is coming in here for Gen G. If they could win this round, it would be absolutely massive. Kooster's going to be going down finally. Deep grenade, but it's not going to be enough to kill anyone with, and that bomb is should be going down real soon. Oh, the systematic, systematic approach from OG is just beautiful. They line up, but it is going to be Bentet finding that kill on Velda. Three on three retake now for Genji. 
But all three players for OG alive and well on this site. They need to hit their shots, though. Kray's going to come through again, taking down NBK. Automatic alive with the AWP on short. There's another headshot coming in for Bentet. It's all on Alexi B. 1v2. Both players for Genji very low, though. He could pre-fire this. He's got the angle, but automatic hits the shot. Unreal. And he has a kit as well. They both do now. Yeah, what a, what a turnaround. That's, that's more or less everything OG could have possibly wanted. They don't uh, lose the fight in the middle. They trade it evenly, and then they just go up A, and they find, yeah, two players, both of whom they can smoke off and just go for the blomp hunt. That's, that's amazing. But they don't win the round. So. I'm just blown away that, I mean, look at how they were just so measured in how they took A. Taking advantage of the smokes, not rushing into the smokes, not rushing into weird situations. They had time, and they used it on OG. It felt like they really set themselves up for success there. Just when it came to it, they weren't able to hit their shots. And so that's a very painful round loss for OG. Genji surviving the two, some shots getting put through the smoke. It's still going to be a buy round, but look at this. It's OG just relying heavily on firepower. They hardly have any utility to speak of. They have a smoke and a flash across five players. Right, and that actually, that puts a big dent in, in the fact that they've taken long, which is otherwise a good tactical position, but you probably need two smokes to be really happy about having long, because one, will leave a gap when they try and make that cross. So let's see, they've called a bit of a freeze here. They're, they're rightfully, or like, you know, I think they're not wrong to be paranoid about what's coming from Gen G's side because they were so aggressive in the last round. So they're sort of checking everywhere. Mm -hmm. But there is a big, big problem with being out long and, you know, okay, they've got one guy in the middle here, but again, you don't know if Gen G are taking up a dark right now. We can tell that they're not, but OG are running out of time to make a play that they can feel really confident about. When you don't have upper dark at all, you've got to be worried. Nice swing to take down automatic. That's a three-man push. Alexi B comes in. He actually hits Bentet, who was just ducked in there. That's a bit weird. But still, good start. Fantastic. This is another winning... Uh, this should be a winning round now for OG, right? Getting in with four players live on the A site. No chance for... Genji to get in here. There's an attempt, though, for Costa. He misses the headshot. NBK manages to get the job done this time. And that could not have gone better. They had to dry peek because they had no nades. So it's just like you had to dry peek and you had to hit the shots. And OG redeemed themselves. Fourth round, they managed to actually pick one up. Finally, they're going to be on the board. Three to one. Genji on the CT side still in the lead. And no money in the bank for Genji. Yeah, they are definitely a little bit in the hole. So, yeah, no that's, either. that's good. Hmm. It's starting to look a lot better here. To be fair, I mean, we do really expect... This is OG's map pick, and we really do expect OG to, to fight back here after that train. So, uh, now it is going to be OG with the full buy and uh, Genji with their backs to the wall. Two guys have rifles. Do you just kind of bolster this with Deagles and try and play around the rifles right now? Yeah, I mean, you could definitely try and do that. Automatic actually does have enough for an AWP. I wonder how tempting Ooh. it is to just go straight for that. And yeah, he's going to yeah. do it with no armor. I, I actually, it's fine. I'll co-sign that, that that purchase. I think You're it's on a good board idea. with this? Yeah. I mean, if he can hit some shots, he's got two kills so far. I mean, he hasn't, Automatic hasn't really been dominating. And it feels like it's been a while since we've seen Automatic just dominate. But uh, that was nades. Insane damage. This is really softening him up. It's a straight B rush. No subtlety here from OG, but the nades did so much damage. OG are really struggling to make their way out onto the site. The crossfire, impeccable for Gen G. That could not have gone better. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's. Didn't even need that uh, orb with no armor. Really cool stuff. Four to one. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Oh, it's so silly. Outrageous, isn't it? I mean, the double HEs in just did so much damage. And then one after another for OG as well. That I mean, not making use of utility, really. They, they, there was no flash. I don't even... Almost looked like he failed that jump. That, c that can get you killed. Okay, well, here we go. Sixth round. A little bit of a boost to try and look up. No one's going to be there, though. And a pretty... Common setup here for Gen G so far. No real crazy tricks. OG also just playing a default spread. So they're going to have control of most of the map here, at least on their side of it. And then we'll see what they what they want to do. But that was a huge gift to, to Gen G. They're going to be so excited about that. Oh, that was phenomenal.
Yeah, that's really going to swing things back in Genji's favor. Four to one, CT side, and if Genji win this round here, OG are going to be hard pressed. So, Nate over the top, just a little bit of a hello. That this is going to be them clearing OG, clearing out Catwalk now. A little bit more room to maneuver with, and also to try and slow down any potential rotations if it's going to be a B split from OG. They still have exactly Issa lurking in Upper Dark right now. And now having cleared out Catwalk, they could set up for that B split. And there's yeah. only two players alive right now on um, Genji's side on that B side. So things could get spicy real quick here for Genji. Yeah, they're going to have a real hard time defending. I think Exist probably would have to smoke off the door that he's holding right now and then just hope that that's enough that they can, you know, funnel them in through upper dark and, and the window. I doubt it will be, but I, mean, I don't think he's going to have many choices once he realizes, and he will right about now. So, yeah, tries to smoke it off. I still don't think it's quite enough. Nice kill. That is huge. Suddenly they're coming through the smoke. He turns around. Brilliant play from Exist so far. Can he get a 30? We'll get one more. That is massive. Nine seconds left, and they're going to go straight for the bomb plant, but Exist just gave them a path to victory here that they would definitely, I mean, that was very, very slim, but that just worked out flawlessly for him. Valde now looking to see if he can at least make it a 2-1-2, two -two, but they were expecting it. And they have some flashbangs and an HE to get in here. Mansu's low on health. He's going to be worried about that too. Upper Dark as he's just about to walk into Bentet, and he's got all of the angle advantage here. That's just perfect timing. And now Valde alone, one versus three, going to turn him with their back, and he's now outside instead. They do have a kit on either player. He's walking right in through window. That actually could have worked, but he's going to get no scope, and it will be the round for Gen G. He's going to get impaled. Exist though, that... I'll tell you, I mean, that smoke is, that's what he had to do, but it's that doesn't make it easy by any means. Well, this is where I'm wondering, right? Dust 2, this is what, the Eternal Pug map, right? And Exist, he's not calling. He just gets to frack. So put him on B site and let him go to work. If he has opportunities like this, this should be, theoretically, where he gets to shine. He's at seven kills right now. These guys right now are popping off on the side of Gen G. They've clearly got the more comfortable firepower. Mantu is currently Mantu, who is a linchpin for OG as far as star power, star as far as firepower is concerned. He's working on a secret agent. Yeah. Things are getting a bit rough at the moment. Five to one. I think uh I think Chad was tweeting about how he was finally, you know, ready to to believe in OG again. And that he might be he might be slowly getting off that while um, while watching that train game. I am having a parallel experience. And it's not getting better on Dust2 for me right now, I've got to say. Have they disappointed you, the Enders? Yeah, right now I I am feeling... I mean, I, luckily for me... the. I'm the, not the, angry. I'm just the, disappointed. The, the 250 points I might lose is really nothing. Dude. Like that's that's the upside. That's not really the problem. Oh, it's just man. And I was trying to hedge, going six, you know, six four, yeah. and now Turns out none if of that OG matters. get blasted, we're just both gonna lose all of our points again. All the points. <laughs> I just uh, I, listen. I was watching OG play and blast just you know a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or something like that. Yeah, and they were, they were great. Looking, they were really fun to watch. It's a completely different team from what I'm seeing here. So. It is a little bit shocking. This time, they really only have pistols and Tech-9 there on MBK to get a kill. So, all right, fair play. It's going to be hard to make it through. Quad kill on Kusta. You know. And, I mean, man. Sorry. Didn't I don't mean know to cut how it's going to work out. I'm just thinking, you know, pug life, right? So, it's Dust2. And you've got Kusta and Automatic who come from North American CS, right? I mean, they thrive on the pug. They live in the pug every day, right? There is a crisis in North American Counter-Strike for sure. Right? You know, so it's like for them, this is their environment. I just, I just, I can't even really, f I can't even really think of what it is that's going on for OG, but it's it's not good. They've I just think. created their own space right now. They're going like full Rorschach, right? Where, you know, OG was like, oh yeah, you guys are coming over to EU, haha, <laughs> we're going to wreck you. And it's like, no, we're not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with us. Yeah, I, d I don't know if anyone could have predicted this kind of an outcome. <laughs> Again, we just didn't really know anything about Gen G. You know, th this is out of control. Nice push from Bentet going down the middle. They're all locked. They're now trapped on long, essentially. So what are they going to do about that? Right now, I think Cooster is checking lower now. When he goes to upper dock and finds no one, surely they're going to just call it and say, okay, fine, get everyone over to A. There's no point. Just have them locked in and get four people on the A bomb site. Mm. 
And yeah, there we just checked up a dock, and now they're coming. So it's a bit of a timing window here for OG, maybe like five seconds before everyone is showing up. Flash through his careers, and a big double, including the bomb getting dropped for a second there. Bent head also helping out, and a nice flick. And yeah, they were red the whole way. I mean, that once they knew that there was no one up, but that was that was just an easy one, well, an easy round. But it was it was a very very readable round for Gen G. They are just putty in Gen G's hands right now. I can't believe it. This is, the, I mean, dude, full flash, and that's all just timing as well for these flashes to work out. You're expecting Kreeze to be the one to be full flashed as those uh, nades come in, but again, OG, I mean, they're doing everything they can, right? They, they, they only throw a single Molotov, right? They're just acting as if it's one guy here at long. There's nobody else. It's not all of us. It's not a big group, right? And yet still, it's just not working out for them whatsoever, even with the element of surprise. Genji are ready for them, and Genji just smash. So... Seven to one, tactical timeout called by OG. This is a hard eco from OG now. They're not getting bomb plants, so uh, it's not a hard eco, actually. What am I? I saw a Glocks across the board. It's looking like it's going to be at least a, a half by coming through. Yeah, they're putting a little bit into it. I mean, I f I re it, <laughs> it's really, I mean, the way that they're playing now as well, this is what, the, this, that was the second time they sort of more or less went everyone out on long and just and just hung out there for a long time. And I even mentioned it the last time when they had a guy in middle. I said, the problem is if you if if you don't know what Gen G are doing, they can just find out that you're not there and take control. And then it yeah. happened in that previous round. So, you know, I it really feels like OG themselves have kind of, you know, they've kind of lost the, the plot a bit here. Now you start doubting yourself and you're into a map where you can just frag out. This is good, though. Nicely done. A big group on Catwalk are able to just trade those kills effectively. Bentet takes one at least, but this is still going to be a very difficult round now for Gen.G to retake. Yeah. I mean, they've got some money on, on everyone alive and also the two people dead, so they could, they could try it a bit here. Let's see, it, But you're right, it, it definitely won't be easy. Have some Nade grenades. superiority, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the big deal. That bomb, I can't really tell. Is it planted? It must be planted inside of the bomb site and not, yeah, so that's probably fairly good for uh, for OG, all things considered. Some grenades coming in, some Molotovs on top, Valde going down. Still a three on three. I think they realize by now so much time off that clock. I'm not sure if they should still be fighting this. I mean, they could make it really expensive, obviously, for OG, and even that might be sort of a slight victory here. Yes, Korea one more kill. Trying. He's going to get one more there and exist with the one and stealing the orb. That is actually not that bad. Yeah, I'd say this is a win. You're, you're going to let them get it, but now they're going to take uh, one of those rounds off of their loss bonus. They only had one guy survive. Money is not going to be fantastic on OG's side, whereas yourself, you had bank and you saved the AWP from automatic. That's actually not too shabby uh, in a losing situation like that for Gen.G. So... 7-2, to two. Gen G on that CT side still very comfortably in the lead, but there's a round for OG. Finally. It's been four rounds in a row for Gen G. OG managed to just pick one up. Nice leg shot on Kreese through the doors. Barely survives, and now NBK just charging into pit. Can he make it in time? He will not. Ben Tet was ready for him. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a very cool idea. I mean, we saw that at the beginning when Vitality started to do that a lot, where they would have that, like, whole path where you just run with mm -hmm. your back turned and your teammates would throw flashes for you. It's really, really awesome when it actually does work out, but this time it just wasn't it. Bentet, step ahead, and certainly unflashed makes a big difference at the end. Yeah, he was just ready for it, wasn't he? Like, okay, then. You you can make it to pit, but then you'll die in the pit. Hmm. And so this is prompting a, a change of strategy here from OG. I'm s I'm so confused about what we're seeing from OG. I really just am. I just don't know if they... I mean, they just clearly can't handle the chaos. Ooh, that flash. Costa. Did they... Re they didn't realize. They didn't see him. No, they don't know. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Could have a very quick flank. You could have all sorts of fun things here from Kusta now that he's alive. Oh, and the timing works out that they turn away. He's going to have a very quick flank in Upper Dark now. Yeah, and they're calling it in as well. They know what's coming. And once again, they have a perfect read here, Gen.G. They know everything that's coming their way. They line up for a huge spray. That's a fair bit of damage. Kusta now coming in from behind. Oh, but he started running away. Some noise and Exis goes down. Oh, dear. That was essentially a gift wrap round at that point in time. And somehow 
they get just a bit over eager if, if you know the, the running the stepping at the end that made all the difference in the world Bented gonna try and see if he could go for a wide swing against Mantu who's finally gonna be picking up a kill there he was actually a zero not that long ago he's got five now so that's a nice turnaround but that is a round that Gen G should never lose what a save from Mantu you gotta give it to him. He heard the footsteps and he whips around and hits that shot. If they don't if he doesn't hit that shot, two of them are dead, right? Yeah, but that is that is definitely not OG winning the round, but Gen G losing it. Yeah. It has to be. Unfortunate for Kruse, he's not able to get more there. Yeah, but I mean, even then it was fine. Like you know, it's like he's done got a kill, he's done some damage. Like that I think the round is still won at that point in time. I'm like, mm. yeah, that's it. On to the next. But yeah, I mean it's hard not to get excited, right, when you've got that much timing and you're you know you're just so ready for it. Yeah. You know that he, Okay, hold on. Are we going to get it from Monsters? Yeah, we are. So he hears it. Man. It's a sweet turnaround. But. It's a sweet shot. That was so clutch from Montu. That made up for a lot. And so NBK, the bearded one, nonplussed. He's seen too much CS go. He's jaded now, Anders. Yeah. It takes a lot to impress Nathan Schmidt, the natural born killer. Listen. He's seen a lot. That's also one of the reasons why these things shouldn't be happening. What's happening to OG right here, you know? It's true, though. I mean, we just talked about it. Eight years, right? Yeah, you've been through many, many. And this, I, again, you know, we just saw them playing not that long ago. And they look very, very focused. And they are playing in a million-dollar tournament here. So, you know, like, I don't... I, it actually does make me really worried about what is happening on the team. Because there's got to be there's gotta be more here. Automatic slowly walking forward. Smoke is going to force him away. They're going to be coming out long. If Kusta goes down, this could be great. The MP9, though, will slow them down a little bit. He's turning around for more. Nice job on Kusta. Huge double. He does get a bit greedy. <laughs> he wanted to upgrade that gun. Can't really blame him. The bomb is down here, though. So, again, if, if Mantu can't win this fight against Automatic, it's going to be a real issue, and he's just waiting for it. Mantu right on the other side of the time. He is ridiculous. He's throwing the flash behind him, and that is the bomb on the ground. And Alexi B and Isa, again... If Gen G just call, uh, you know, a bit of a freeze and don't, don't freak out, they should be fine. Yeah, that timing there. Exist able to win that shot. The double spray, so close for Isa. Seventeen health on Kreese. One more bullet does it. Oh man, I know, dude. They're it's doing every. I mean, this is still Pugs. Yes, that's the thing. It's going to be like this, Anders. It's not going to stop. Yeah, but why are OG the ones playing Pugs? Yes, is the question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, you know, that's the thing. I don't know, man. It's like, I guess the only way to counter the chaos is to embrace the chaos yourself, but I would think not. Uh, there are so many fundamental things that I, that I really, I'm just confused about, um, from, from OG's point of view. I just can't even, I can't wrap my head. Listen, I'm happy that I'm not, you know, trying to be, trying to be an analyst. The, the people in the green room right now are going to be the ones that are going to be scratching their heads thinking. Do we have the green room cam ready? Yeah, we, we I would love to get that green room cam. <laughs> <laughs> just see, I want to see Thorin's face. Just like, what? Then I'm gonna expect some high-level breakdowns and like, you know, amazing rationales for what's going on because some of this is really out of control. Hmm. Timeout is just about done. We're heading into the twelfth round. Genji up eight to three right now on OG's map pick here on Dust Two. They already won the first map in tremendous fashion. Mm -hmm. So. Things are looking really strange right now. Cool little boost here to try and look over. It does get spotted, but the shot through the box doesn't really do that much damage, apparently. So everyone is fine at the end of it. Yeah, an automatic just not wasting any time at all. It rotates hard over to cover long. So far, though, OG have not committed anywhere. And now automatic's got that angle. Let's see. Should be the catwalk clear. They have a flash to help open that angle up and so that sets up this is setting up again for that B split it could be is that bomb Velda he has not committed to A long just yet yeah they're going to be slightly more prepared for the B split now that they've got Kusta there in, in CT spawn so doesn't really guarantee gar guarantee anything but it, it's at least doable mm. Let's see flash Molotov just standard tools for clearing out catwalk it'll pull Kusta a little bit back I can't blame him because he doesn't want to leave automatic alone over at long. It looks like the bomb is still committed out long, so I don't know. This It's hard to say right now. Those smokes are, again, classic sort of B-split type. You know, you're sort of faking that you might be going catwalk a little bit. And now the hmm. bomb is making its way back. 30 seconds, not a lot of time. There's no one in CT spawn. They've actually done a good job, OG, in this round. Again, now they just need to get into the B-bomb site itself and try and take it over. Two people left in here, 20 seconds. 
Flashbang to try and find the timing for Bentet here. 20 seconds now on the clock. They're really slowing this down. That's so dangerous. Exist going to be dropped. Bentet gets one headshot. 13 seconds on the clock, and the bomb is in the tunnel. Just stuck there. They need to get in here right now. I don't know why they're slowing it down. Krius goes down. Six seconds, five seconds. They're just barely going to get the bomb planned. One more second or a second and a half off that clock, and it would have been too late. That is so close. I can't handle this, man. Especially once he gets spotted on the plateau craze there. That's insane. And exist. I mean, just unbelievable that they managed to survive as long as they did. But what a setup from OG. Slow, really running the clock down, but not giving anything away. It's a two on three right now. And actually, they're right outside of B. They could really be going for this uh, retake, but Issa's going to be there to flank him in the back in just a moment's time. Have to get into the site immediately, and it's just not going to happen. Velda holds the line. That was the key shot, taking Kusta out of it. And so, I mean, fourth round on the board for OG. If they'd got that second kill inside of the B bomb side, I think they win the round. Yeah. I don't think the guy in the middle can stop that defuse where the bomb was planted. So that would have been really uh, an uncomfortable end to the round. But yeah, Alexi B two good kills. I, you know, from OG's point of view, twenty seconds. They'd left themselves some time. Well, the part where I was getting really nervous was when they were standing still inside that tunnel for such a long time. Because again, they were just about a second and a half away from losing the round. So but that's that's cutting it too close. You just this is Pug CS, Sanders. You just have to embrace it, okay? <laughs> I'm, I won't. I just, just refuse. Just believe that chaos reigns. Oh, well. And that crease is going to hit uh, headshots through smoke and the gap in the doors on NBK. And Can't this is going it. to be a half buy coming in from Gen G. So deal Kevlar and OG already down a man. Yeah, and it, I mean, they probably realized from just hearing the deal, right, that that is what's on the other side. So one kill, maybe not the end of the world, but if it keeps going, it's going to be a real issue. Who's the pushing for? They had no idea. He's caught him out in the open. Does ah! only have the P250, and Mantu will stay alive, but only barely. That's a bit dangerous. Ooh, the scout bait. That was a nice attempt here. He's so fast, though. He can be mobile. This is, oh, man, up close. That deagle spray is lethal. Man advantage now for Gen G, looking for a follow up as well as that smoke, the small, the wall of smokes has been put down. Alexi B is waiting for somebody to get impatient and push out on catwalk. Not committing just yet though, Gen G. They have got four players alive. There's a Molotov on Korea somehow. He's actually just put it down. All right, so it's gonna you know buy a little bit of time, but there's only 25 seconds. I actually thought maybe if he'd held that Molotov, it could have got really interesting. The bomb is up at the site now, being planted. Just a solo push in there to try and see if he get that Alexi B. It's pretty cool. Three versus four, but they do still have good weapons there on the OG side. Some shots all right through to take down Alexi B. Didn't even see him. Valder out in the open, and he will go down and man to. <laughs> There's a big task on his hands right here. One versus four, misses the chance, and he will never get another one. Genji take a ninth round, and again, OG just lost in the wilderness. So I'm not, they've lost the compass, all of their, whatever food they had with them. It's a real mess. It's, this is definitely one of those uh, survival games. Call in, yeah, call in the National Guard, or some, someone to go find them, like whoever does that. Search and rescue. Dude, that shot, that was just the slowest. But the Deagle spray, man, this is this is egregious. This is where it gets a bit crazy, that wall bang. I appreciate the fact that he was crab walking while doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, insane. I, still to this day, when I get sprayed by people who are crab walking, it just makes me angry. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how much meditation I practice, I can't get past that. It's like, no, oh. not the crab walk spray. Oh, really? No smoke and go? Okay. I still think they're probably just going to gather up and get in there. It's looking like it. Smoke out through... Uh, Mid to create some room, and OG might very well just decide to YOLO it onto the B site. Molly, deep Molly. What are these nades getting thrown here by Genji? Yeah, I mean, they're nades that they wish they they would have in a second here. Yeah. Gonna be pound of smoke. That's really good. And everyone else <laughs> fell back, man. She was like, why are you guys running away? Boom. Oh, yeah. Well, turns out Mantu never has to worry about anything again. Nine to four, CT side lead for Gen G. And well, Kusta's ready to hold the line in mid. They have got the crossfire established. If they decide to run through here, OG, it's going to be real rough for them. They have that single AK in the hands of Isa, but it is going to be towards the A site now. And automatic with the AWP, this is actually the perfect spot for OG to hit. 
He's got the op. So yeah. uh, he'll take one, but if you're looking to trade, this could be effective. It would be really cool if they had some smokes so, so, so to make it harder on him to actually hit those shots, right? He's going to be standing up. Can't believe he hit that. It's all over the place. He doesn't have to peek again, but I mean, he, he can if he wants to, but it's better, yeah, just wait until the rest of the team shows up. He's up. It's a nice attempt. Some good double kill on him, but it is just nowhere near enough. 10 to 4 in favor of Gen G. I'm done, Anders. I don't even know anymore, man. Okay, I mean, granted, that was an eco round. That was an eco round. But this is OG's map pick. Dust 2. Up against Gen G. And Gen G are now double digits, 10 to 4 on the CT side in the first half. This is yeah. getting completely out of hand. I mean, that's the thing. These rounds have been close, too. It's not like oh, Gen no. G are sitting on fat stacks of cash. They don't have that much in the bank right now. They really don't. Automatic did fail to smoke in the middle, but it didn't cost anyone anything. It's a slight little, you know, worry there. Again, they're all out long. And again, I just want to point this out again. If you stay here for, you know, 15 seconds, it's going to be an issue. Bentet gets overwhelmed, turning back around Kusta. Looks like he could have done a lot of damage, but he's going to start to backtrack, and now the backup is being called for here. Automatic, what are you doing this far out? Mad lad. Oh, did he manage to spot what got in there, though? Now he definitely knows. He knows, but he does Does he know it's an op or an AK, right? Oh, now he knows. Well, now, <laughs> now they know. Sets it up. I mean, OG now, you can get a fifth round on the board here. This is it. Now or never. Smoke wall going down. There's the flash. Spray is in. And again, Kreeze is going to get just the one. 1v4 retake. And it's not meant to be. NBK collects both kills in the end. And that is going to be 10 to 5 at the end of the first half. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the second half, second map. OG and Genji here at Flashpoint 2. And it has been just one a long series ride. of disappointments, I think. A wild ride. Not Depends if you're a Genji fan. Yeah, exactly. If you're a Genji fan, you're over the moon right now, Anders. You're loving life. Yeah, that is absolutely true. But I think even if you're a Genji fan, you've got to at some point say, but could they at least try and make it look like they're not just getting beat up? Like, <laughs> if you're an OG like, fan? Yeah, no, yeah. if you're a Genji fan, even you might be like, come on, like, just, you know, my team is winning, but it, make it look like you're really trying, you know? Make it close. They're not doing that at all. 16th round, pistol coming right up, and this time Genji on the T side is a uh, very important kill there. Man to turning for the flashbang, but not in time, apparently. Looked like he had the right idea. Alexi B also getting down, and suddenly it is a two on three. With NBK already getting tagged, the bomb is definitely going to be going down. Just a nice throw across there. Exist does fall in the meantime, so a two on two. And, oh, nice shot. That's important. Automatic gets that kill. Isa out in the open. He's going to have one chance, basically. And I think that might have already been a little bit too much. He's wasted a bullet. He's trying to reload in the meantime. Oh, and he's got it! What a headshot. What a quad kill. Isa somehow makes it out. He should have been dead 10 different times, mm. but he wasn't. Yeah, that's really where you start to wonder. It looked like they timed it as well where they wanted to peek together, which is appropriate. So 2v1, you you peek together, you got to be getting that kill, and yet somehow both of them flush their, fluff their shots on Isa, yeah. and, and he, he survives. He missed the first four or five shots. I mean, like that. He, as soon as that happens, he should be already dead. Yeah, maybe some moments hesitation there between those two on the communication, but uh, that is a tough... A tough loss for Gen G. Definitely felt like they had that pistol in the bag. Yeah. But still, OG, I mean, <laughs> they needed that. Of course, you know, thanks to the new economy or new, or whatever, air quotes economy, uh, you still can't tell who actually lost that pistol round. But uh, it is it is going to be Gen G with three rifles and a scout versus uh, the three SMGs, one rifle and a scout. Yeah, I, I mean... I don't know if, if I just if I if I just had a completely memory wipe the what's happened so far in this best of three I'd say all right well that's the time OG need to like now they get fired up they get to win that pistol mm -hmm. in. but they've shown absolutely no signs that that is what's happening on this team whenever anything positive happens um, it's like so far it's just as likely that they they just still crumble in the following round so I want to see them win not just this round but you know just go on like a four or five winning streak here like really try and cement this because you need that third map badly right now. Needs to be some kind of a wake-up call happening here. Close is NBK with an MP9. It's a pretty good position. Doesn't exist. Looking like he wants to actually spot for that. He's just going to pre-fire it and, yeah, get confirmation. Not quite a kill, but it's still worth something. 45 seconds on the clock, and they are going to be split this one, which will be very tricky to hold with what they've got inside of that B-bomb site. 
Yeah, especially because MBK is already at half HP. Alexi B is ready for him as well. And are they just going to... NBK is heading out onto the slope. I mean, this is where his MP9 will be lethal. Real chance, yep. I mean, Costa just swings. Swing and a miss. And now it's going to be NBK moving on up. And he manages to get a shot on Exist as well. Caught him turning the wrong way. Eventually wins that duel. Opportunity here. No, Kreez. He, okay, this is the big lurk from Kreez. Yeah, they have no idea someone's in the middle. Instant headshot. That's so, he just needs to stay alive. He's going to get one more kill, and that probably will seal it here. 2 on 3. MBK shot in the back by Bentet and Valdenau. 1 versus 3. Don't say I did not warn you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've been doing that. They did this on train. They had a, a couple of rounds on train where Genji just sort of, you know, gave them around for no reason. You know, you're like, that's so nice. We'll give it right back. Dude, Thanks, Chris guys. is nuts, though. This guy just keeps hitting shots, and this is a big tournament. Listen, I need help. Yeah, the intern is here. You know, he's helping us out, man. He was looking out. Uh, might have, might get him on the phone later. Is it is it is it in golf where you count the points opposite? Where I thought that's rude. Yeah, that is actually yeah. uh, that. And somebody tweeted that as well. I so thought we were going for lower points. Solid, solid. Yeah, our handicap is actually mega. Yeah. I mean, no one's told me, so I just I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think I'm leading. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to say it. I am leading, and we'll see if Why that not? Works. That's the thing. It's just it's the others that need to figure out what the game is actually exactly. all about. I've turned it around. <laughs> I figured it out, guys. You figured it all out. Hope Did any one it. of us predict Gen.G on this? I, possibly, yeah. But I know it wasn't me, so. No way. Actually, uh, production, if anybody, uh, you know, put that up on the screen. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see if uh, if anybody did. But uh, in this round, at least, Gen.G, they are set to... Nobody bet on Genji, I'm being told. So this could just be the, the most ridiculous day. All right. Actually, it's great because for you and my, you know, it, everything just stays the same. It doesn't get worse. But Genji still it, have to get the job done. It can't get worse, Samla. That's the only reason it's not getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> it can, though. You can't, you can't celebrate that, can you? I, listen, I always, I'm, you know, I find the positives where I can. It's like, well, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> It is like saying the earthquake has leveled all the houses, and you say, "Well, I don't have a house, so haha." <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked. See, oh, just like uh, you know, Alexi V trying to get clever in the smoke. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a smart. That's a smart idea for Alexi B. He got, you know, checked on it, so not really his fault, but uh, it's, it's worth doing. Man two. Completely unnecessary fight for Kusta's point of view. Yeah. I guess there's nothing much to lose, even if he had gone down. But um, yeah, I think that just reveals maybe a little bit about Genji's sort of state of mind. It's like, yeah. Oh, whatever. They're in that situation that uh, they just don't care, you know. I think at that point, where you're taking a fight like that, you're just you're just throwing it out there. Like I'm going to take this fight, and there's really no reason for me to take this fight. But you know what? We're just going to do it because we can. Uh, I was, I, yeah, uh, for whatever reason that popped up on my feed yesterday. Uh, whatever. Some some soldiers decided to do that to go out into no man's land and like trench warfare in World War One just to get this tank, and there was no reason to get this tank. They just kind of did it because they could. They just felt like it. Just felt like it, you know? And uh, and it turns out that that is like the lone surviving tank that we actually have because all the other ones were destroyed. So just because those guys didn't care, we actually have one of those tanks in a museum. I'd happily make some World War One references about having two OG at the moment, but that Ooh. might be... <laughs> <laughs> that might get a bit, that might get a bit spicy. spicy. You know, they're, they're just caught in Flanders Field right now, Anders, you know? Yeah. And they it's, can't seem to get out. It's not good. And they're slowly losing it's their minds. 12 to 6. They don't really have any money to work with. It's not a lot going on here. 19th round is coming up, and um, a little bit of a challenge with the scout in the middle. But I think not only would OG have to have some kind of a massive awakening from here on out, but they, it has to almost be time with Gen.G sort of putting their brains on cruise control or something like that and, and forgetting about the game for a short while because they're four rounds away, and it's it's... I don't know how they bring this one back. Yeah. Very odd indeed. I've got. I mean, you know, it's just going to be taking some crazy plays like that. Or, you know, you get some correct gambles that go your way, such as this one. I mean, OG right now, they've gambled five on A. It's a stack on A right now in this eco round. And so it could work their way, and this could pan out nicely for them. Uh, Gen G, however, seems to have sniffed this out because they've spread out, and now they're just holding angles playing the clock. And you can see now OG kind of going away from that stack. And so this plays into Genji's favor as the round continues. 
And uh, quickly checking as well. 50 seconds and, well, I mean, the wait, if nothing else, has meant it's now a three-man stacker at this bomb site. Make that two with the kill from Kusta there. So, yeah, just even waiting a little bit of time here actually helps them out. Nice grenade, but Ooh. it doesn't change the fact that MBK will have to be an absolute superhero with this scout. His feet are on fire. It's all gone horribly wrong. Yeah, that's uh, that's essentially it. So we will get that 13th round on the board for Genji. Just looking phenomenal. Hey, it's just round after round. They just keep this momentum. It's never really feeling like OG are getting into this in a meaningful way, Anders. And I'll tell you why. That's because they're not. That's because they're not. <laughs> so. You're just a you're just a you know a very studious observer of reality. Uh, y nothing gets past you. <laughs> I'm the I'm you know. <laughs> I wish oh, the absolute struggle. I wish I wasn't. I wish I. I wish. <laughs> I wish reality was different right now. I'm often do, in fact. One of the worst things about reality, in some sense. Yeah, it's, I mean, usually it doesn't really work out, you know. But um, right now, Valda Xe just walking away. Get Valda has a little bit of armor. There's nothing. There is nothing much really to highlight from from OG's point of view at the moment. Thirteen to six, ladies and gentlemen. Three more rounds for Gen G. It'd be shocking if they couldn't find them somehow. <laughs> I'm surprised to not see any tactical time timeouts getting called by OG either. And so this is, <laughs> it's funny, as I mentioned, this this is a technical uh, called, so uh, we'll figure out what that is in a moment here. But uh, OG, you know, just not calling for any tactical pauses, not not really trying to fall back on any kind of strategy right now, or at least trying to slow things down, kind of slow the bleeding. Uh, you'd Does expect a more veteran team like OG to be knowing when to, you Does know. Does it count as a technical timeout if you're just pausing to have brain surgery on some of the players, something like that? Could that be it? Does it <laughs> could that help? I'm really wondering at this point. I, time, it is a very it technical take. procedure. You're right. I know. Like, So I guess you could go that way, yeah. Well, there's a chance out there. If, uh, if anyone wants to go that route in the future. Kriya's flashing his way out. Mantu, though, nice turnaround, and he's going to have a huge advantage. That is a cool move. Nice double from Mantu, and OG absolutely winning this long fight for the minute here. Exis will get one in return, but yeah, still very, very smooth uh, movement there from Mantu. Cool that we saw that from his point of view. Pushing into upper dark, though, uh, Isa, after, well, after they win the fight, they keep going and they check. So even in a two on four like this, yeah, they're looking so good at the moment. Automatic could actually see MBK. It's not clear how, but he he could. Oh, no way from him, this. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm actually surprised that NB that uh oh it's Isa. Okay. But they they managed to hold on to this now. It's going to be a one v three and exist with uh, a minute on the clock. I'm just gonna throw away the old that. So clever. See? This is called managing your opponent's economy. Uh, hell, I'd even just throw the AK away. Just throw everything away. Just throw it Come knife at them. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, I, it makes sense for him, I think, to try and get another kill here and just to be really annoying, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, he wants to see if they're going to come. If they're going to come look for him, and he has 40 seconds. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't even blame him if he waited till like the last 10 seconds and then sort of slowly went for it. If he gets a kill, he could get a bomb plant. That would help out. They do have a lot of money still on the Gen G side, but yeah, yeah. it will be a seventh round, I'm sure, here for uh, for OG. There's just not enough time really to do a lot at this point in time. And it's also the health and everything else. So Ixis though, smoke is up. He's gonna try and jump up on top of the box and it'll be found by Isa. Still, cool little attempt. I mean, again, you could have made it more expensive. It's all worth it. Seven to 13. That was that round where Lady Luck actually winks at Isa because he was looking away on the other side of the smoke as Ixis kind of fluffed the jump, was getting into position. Yeah. And he looks back just in time to catch Ixis peeking, so. You know, that time, it works out for you. But it is, yeah. 13-7 in favor of Genji. They've got the money for a full buy. We will have full buys across the board here, but no AWP because Exist managed to chuck that sniper rifle over the wall in the last round. Genji, though, very quickly out long with this op. Combat op thrown in here by automatic. This is sick. Doesn't even get out of here. He gets out. Yeah, he's clean escape. He's such a fun player to watch automatic in so many different ways. Kriyas goes down, but Isa's traded, leaving alone on the bomb side. NBK, and he already knows it. Gonna try and see if he can buy a little bit of time with the flashbang, but they just turn for it. Molotovs are raining, and there's no one pushing upper, though. So that's a really, really important kill. And Kusta taking down Mantu, and I mean, it just keeps getting worse and worse for OG all of the time. I actually thought because no one was coming in, wrapping from behind into upper dark, maybe that could have been a way more successful defense at B through those doors, but 
Good trading all across the board here. Just snap call as well from Genji. You know, you yeah. get that kill on Isla, you're like, cool. Well, all things being, you know, equal right now, normal, right? Uh, there should only be one guy on B, you know, yeah. with Isa dead. And they just snap, you know, snap decision. Get that call going and put that pressure on and do not let OG stabilize. You will have Valda finding a pot shot on Kusta there. So going to make this a little bit more expensive for Gen G. But uh, right now, of course, Gen G would just love to get this M4 off of this guy. Exist oh, yeah. has a chance. And he wins the duel. 14 to 7. Gen G two rounds away, Anders. Two rounds away from a colossal victory against OG. Yeah, I just I'm so I'm so shocked. I would I'm I'm very interested to see what will happen on social media afterwards from some of these OG players because NBK is always a show. Yeah, I just I just think it's not really acceptable, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> I can just hear the disapproval in your voice yeah. right now. I, I, I really think that... So you thought it was a good idea to stay out an hour longer than I told you was acceptable. You know, you needed yeah. to be home at 9.30. It's currently 10.30. Can you please explain old. yourself? Oh, that's such a... He just sees that. Calls it in for Fusta, who's ready. Man, just a tiny, tiny margin there. They could have made their way past, but they get completely caught in the middle. Bentet continues. Big double. If, if he hadn't seen that one automatic... I mean, that could have gone spoiled out of control, so... Really slim margins for that one, but a good uh, little spot. MBK does take it down, <laughs> continuing to fight in the middle. He's got six health left, and eventually, I'm sure they'll get rid of him. <laughs> throwing throwing everything at him right now, but from CT spawn, it's going to be Exist. No, sorry, Krius and Exist, uh, both of them helping out there. 15 to 7, and yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, this is um, this is an excellent. This is just excellent stuff here from Gen G. They're keeping their cool anders. You know that's the thing. If anything, I was expecting them to get ahead and then to start kind of you know trailing off, right? As the nerves sure. could get to them, yeah. you know. But we're seeing Gen G just maintain that momentum. They really don't slow down. Yeah, they've kept a, they've kept a really good focus. There's been only a couple of rounds where you sort of thought, okay, maybe they're going a little bit too hard, but uh, no, but I like it. Valder turned again, similar move as to the one that Mantu was making. This time it's an MP9, and he will get three kills behind it. Huge success out there. He's going to continue. I can't even really blame him. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know what? Let me at least get a round in here. It's still a 2v4. I mean, it should be impossible for his teammates to lose this. Bomb's going to get Famous dropped. last words. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, Anders. I... It, well, the only way you win 2v4 like this generally is if the other team starts to make some mistakes. You need that. This is a great, great Molotov and some wall tanks. Oh, it's so close. How is he not dead? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> For 2 HP, you had to get the op shot on him, right? Yeah. Now, that's a scout on the other side. Automatic, he's going to be flashed into that one. It's just got a lot weirder, this one. They have the double smoke. They have the Molotov. Well, they're going to use one smoke there. The Molotov as well. 50 seconds. The problem with OG is they can't really, with 50 seconds, they can't, now they have middle, this is a huge difference. So say, otherwise they can't really start to really gamble on the A-bomb site. But Isa being here definitely uh, changes things up a bit. Throwing away the AWP and going back to the AK, we'll see. It's definitely winnable. How many AWPs have been thrown over walls by these guys? It's cleaning up, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, I mean, they're very thorough. I mean, it's two scouts and a CZ-75, what they're going up against. In terms of firepower right now, Genji can absolutely get this done. It's all down to timing. Mantu's able to back off, hits the body shot. Nice little tag. Exist is going to find one. The flank from Isa, though, long range with the AK. He picks up an AK. They leave an AK in the middle after all that. I thought they got rid of all the guns. I mean, they ran out of time, I suppose. I can't believe that Mantu made that move back to Catwalk, just jumping across. He could have been shot at the back immediately. That is... Do it's we need to just one, but yeah? Do we just need to go away from trying to take over a long early right now? Because that's the second time now where we've just seen uh, them get clobbered. Hmm. I don't know. Um, it seems like OG have figured out a cool path to run without getting flashed all that much. But I I still think that a long fight is is tempting for the T side because yeah, you just have you have some pr some good advantages at least some of the time. So. Especially when we get the spawn for it like they have now, Gen G. You just think, all right, like, you know, all we need is that one fight and we're good. It is a bit of a lottery sometimes. You have that money, though. Look at this here. So, tactical timeout getting called by Gen G. And you will have a buy, a pretty close to full buy for Gen G as well. 
So this is interesting, because no op for OG, just a few rifles. You'll even get automatic going for a scout. Okay, then. Let's get into this. Much better buy than I thought would be coming up here for Gen G. So they do actually have some firepower. No peak in mid, though, unfortunately, for automatic. And, yeah, three out A long very early on there for OG. Clearly wanting to be prepared in case Gen.G wanted to keep pressing the matter. Two HEs landing there on, on Korea, so confirmation of at least two out of the three long, realizing they were there. I don't think they were in a position to do anything, you know, anywhere else necessarily, but, I mean, sometimes just counting the grenades can make a bit of a difference. Obviously, when then another 20 seconds go by, you, you sort of can't really count on that any longer. But yeah, sometimes if you're in the right position, you could you can act quickly. Classic smoke up on catwalk. Mm -hmm. Could do any number of things with that. Indeed. Hmm. Yeah, this could still go e anywhere, but uh, they're maintaining their presence on catwalk right now, Genji. And to be fair, this wouldn't necessarily be the wrong call because nobody's going to challenge you on cat, and the only one who could try is Mantu. And that's a scout and not an AWP. Indeed. So you could get uh, a plan for catwalk, and then the game, the ball would then be an OG's court with the retake. Life is going to get real interesting here in a moment. We got 40 seconds on the clock, match point for Gen G, and the push begins straight up cat onto this A site. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Flashes to follow as well. Does he have a clear shot? Oh, Costa will take him down. That's so fast. Lurking top mid is Kriya's as well. Valdo might want to try and push out, but if he loses that fight, I don't know if they can actually do this. Bomb is going to be down quickly, and there's still a Molotov on Kriya's and not a single smoke. Well, he's in the middle, though. That is a bit, bit of a problem, but that Molotov could be massive for him if he could get to catwalk somehow. Alexi B, one big kill. Good flash from a teammate, but Bented, unblinded, just in time. He's got his knife out, and Isa still not getting the kill on him. It's a one on three. Ah, there should be no way, yeah. I mean, throwing that out, it's going to be fun, but they should be able to get this in. Kriya's running away. It will be a ninth round here for OG, but if he could have made it there somehow, that mm. one Molotov could have done so much damage. Wow. Still only the two surviving, but yeah, another round closer. And CS is a beautiful game in that it is not over until, uh, you know, the score is there. You get one round at a time, and there are certainly enough veterans on OG's side uh, where they should know that, right? One round at a time. Don't even look at the score. Forget what the score is. You're just playing your game. I mean, you got, I, I, you know, you got offered a little bit by, uh, by exist a chance there. I think there was but something. There was something that could have worked with, but um, yeah, this is still just gonna be a half five from Genji. Ooh, all grouped. Do we just get the the full Yolo one to be? I would appreciate that. I would like that. It's not a bad round for it. MBK only has a smoke, so you know they're going to come blasting through that no matter what, once they made the call. Actually, MBK needs at least a kill and to stay alive. The closest... Oh, this is a problem, though. The closest that the AWP to him in the middle, that's not that, that great for helping him out. You actually you want Issa to be closer with that M4 so he can do something. Some taps coming out. They love hearing that because all they want to do is time the reload as they're coming fly up. There it is. Reload already. Issa a little bit close with his back turn. NBK standing up. It's going to be a grenade kill at the end, but still not such a bad trade here. Issa really helping out now, and Mantu also with the AWP, and they will shut it down, but... That could have definitely gone wrong. It's not a bad idea for Genji at all. No. Yeah, that's uh, it's so close. If it's a 2-1-2, two -two, I mean, that was a 2-1-2, two -two, and they did not manage to make it through. That HE actually really stumbled things there, thrown in by Isa. The slow just kind of made it really difficult to get out of that smoke. And NBK looked like he was able to get the spray off in the nick of time. So, again, all these things that are just slowing down the progress, just whittling away at your speed. Uh, five rounds separating them now. 15-10. OG match point still five of them and a full buy now for both teams. Automatic just being able to squeak an op out and Mantu fully equipped. If you look at the kills, I mean, some of the OG members are starting to sort of wake up a little bit more here. Oh, He's yeah. at 19, MBK at 18, you know, it's 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 slowly getting there. Cooster is still at 24 on the other team, so that's very cool to spot, but um, yeah. This is where you still have to get it done, Anders. Maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here where, you know, the nerves are going to, you know, we're surprised at how well Genji are holding up under the nerves. But, I mean, you still have to get that last round. Exist going to find one, though. That is MBK dead on the B site. Alexi B caught in CT as well. Really trying to pour the pressure on here, Genji. Just barely making it out alive. But little do they know, I mean, Isa is alone. 
if they kill Alexi B there, I think that they just spring the trap, Genji, and just go barreling onto that B site because then they would have the information. Yeah, but, definitely. Uh, but they might still do it just just slightly delayed. I mean, they just got confirmation that someone was pushed all the way down the end of long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're going to show up. Although now he's got some backup. So maybe they could hold it. He's low on health. They don't have any smoke, so Molotov to hold it back inside of the B-bomb site. So it's going to have to be some fairly clean kills coming out. Flashes in. Ease are lining up for a nice one, and they couldn't actually catch him. That's huge. More grenades raining in 25 seconds. Ben says he has to catch someone, but again, it doesn't really matter if they can't break through to the B-bomb site. They still need to win that fight. 19 seconds on the clock, and let's see if they could do it. It's all on this. Valde catching a kill. None of that matters right now. It's all on holding the B-bomb site. 10 seconds. That smoke goes up, and at least they're going to get the bomb plant here. They do have another smoke, which is actually really annoying for OG. But a two on two, and this could be the map right here. Yeah, take your time with it. Oh, some clever stuff coming in here. I really like this from OG. A little bit of a gap you can see here right over the door. Super cool. Unfortunately for them, nobody peeking that angle, though. And right now, Genji are expecting a push from Upper Dark. They need that second smoke to come into play, though. I think they already put it down very quickly. First kill coming in and outs on Valda. One versus two. He spots the guy in the back, but it won't matter. 16 to 10. And Genji upsetting everything here and taking down OG on just two maps. That is fantastic. What a performance from Genji. You can't help Whoa. but applaud. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's oh, just... Oh, no. Like, that's super cool. Um, I mean, MBK's face kind of says it all right now. If you're OG, it, this is this is a monstrous loss. You are not supposed to lose games like this. Yeah, absolutely. This is so. Uh, I mean, this is really not meant to happen at all. And I, I can't find an, a nice way to say it, but it's just not acceptable if you're OG. You can you can lose to a Genji. Maybe that's fine. But it's more, for me, it's much more about the manner in which they ended up taking this loss. That was um, it was some very very uninspiring Counter Strike coming out from OG. Um, and I don't know what that is about, but. Um, that is good. They're going to have, like, they're going to have to fix that right away. Mm -hmm. It's a real, well, I mean, obvious glee. You know, it's just, this is so good for Genji, though. These guys have been out in the woods for so long. You know, guys like Automatic, yeah. like Kusta, just been grinding and trying to come up with results. And, uh, you know, glad to see that, you know, as far as the standards are concerned here, you know, Exist really slotting in. He was doing very well on Dust 2, on that defense and on offense. He was looking very solid individually, so. You know, solid, solid performance across the board for uh, Genji in this match, and OG really left yeah. wondering what the hell. It's not the first time that we've seen these guys completely fall apart, though. So I mean, no, I guess not. I'm curious to hear what the analysts have to say in regards to OG's performance, because I mean, they look like they're on the up and up, like you mentioned at Blast. They were looking real good last week when we were casting them. I listen. They, they, they're all 